Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is sponsored by NYXI Gaming. Also can be pronounced Nixie. As you can see, there's their logo right up here. They sent me three super cool products to test out and review for you guys from their website. So I'm super excited to try these out for you guys. These are a perfect gift for the holiday. If you know a Nintendo Switch gamer who would like some bigger alternative Joy-Cons that are less expensive than the original Nintendo ones, bigger, and have RGB LED lights inside of them. I think that's pretty epic. As you can see, they sent me th these Joy-Cons here, a Joy-Con charging stand, which you can use for their controllers here, or the regular Nintendo Joy-Cons. We'll test out both. And then they sent me a Pro Controller as well, what you see in the box is not the color on the inside, so just be uh, aware of that. But yeah, thank you to NYXI for sending me these products, Nixie. Thank you, guys. This is one of the colors you can get, black. Um, we're going to test out all the features as well, so let's dive into these. As you can see, um, it says 360 3D joysticks, classic, turbo function. You do have that. You have some extra buttons on the back. Some product specs down below here. You can see all the different colors set to eight color LED phase or easily toggle to your favorite color. You can have the lights breathe, uh, rainbow breathe, control the palette. This is a four in one charger stand so four Joy-Cons can charge at once. I've always wanted one of those to charge my Joy-Cons because I have a bunch of them. I never had a, a charging station for them. And then this is going to be a pro controller that has LEDs as well. So we'll get into those as well. We're going to get into the main attraction here which is the Joy-Cons. Joy-Con alternatives, I should say, to the Nintendo ones. These retail for around $50 on their site. I'm have a, I'll have a link in the description where you can buy these. You can get a discount as well. And on your first purchase, of that, I believe they give 10% off. I went ahead, I got to choose my color. I chose the white because it's going to go on my Switch OLED to match the white OLED Joy-Cons that I already had that were smaller, of course. So I chose the white of this NYXI uh, controllers here. That's what it looks like. This is my first unboxing of these. Here, um, oh, this is the bridge. So this is what you can connect these onto. If you want to make this into a little uh, controller, you can have this as your own little controller. If you're playing docked and you want to have a little controller out of these, you can connect it to this, which is really cool. I like that it has their logo on the front there. I'm guessing the LEDs can be seen through here, um, showing what player you are. All right, let's go ahead and take these out. I'm curious to see what these feel like. All right, so guys, the uh, the build quality feels great. Feels durable. Feels a lot like um, Nintendo Joy-Cons here in terms of what they use, the material. And one thing that's great about these is, let's just do a size comparison. These are the Splatoon 3 Joy-Cons of my Switch. They're, of course, the same in height, it seems, but these are much wider than this skinny Joy-Con. So, especially if you're an adult gamer for the Nintendo Switch and you like playing in handheld, these Joy-Cons are going to uh, feel so much better for you in your hands because they're big, and they can have you, uh, they can give you really great a comforting grip, so it's going to be very comfortable to use. And of course, you get the cool LEDs, which Nintendo doesn't have. So that's one of my favorite um, features about the product. So you can see all the buttons on the back. These, I'm pretty sure, are used to set up all the LED inside and change the color. Got the X, A, B, and Y buttons there. Got your shoulder buttons up top. Let's go ahead and put these on our Switch for the first time here. I'm pretty sure they do have um, vibration as well, which is great. Of course, you know, games use that. We're going to see if our Switch knows the, the color of these, which is white. So let's see if a white strip shows up when we put it in our Switch. For the first time, slide it on like a regular Joy-Con. There we go, guys. And look at that. It turns on and it turns red. So the Switch knows, they put technology in these that tells your Switch 
what color of the NYXI Joy-Cons you have, so that's great. Let's put on the other one. There we go. Wow, this feels, wow. This feels so weird because I'm not used to this. I'm used to small Joy-Con holding my Switch. These are much bigger and more comfortable, so now it feels more of I'm not really supporting the weight of the Switch anymore. These are doing that work for me. It just feels like more I'm holding a controller, so this is really cool. I'm going to be testing on it for gaming. So yeah, if you guys especially have adult hands, these are going to be great for you. And of course, it's much cheaper than Nintendo Joy-Cons are. You can charge these on the switch here when they're connected. As you can see, um, they charge while they're on the switch. They charge in the dock as well. They do fit in the dock. I want to go ahead and show you guys that because some people fail to do that. I got the white to match my white OLED switch and everything. Let's look. See, these Joy-Cons fit right in the dock as well. So you don't have to worry about that, your dock not fitting or anything. Looks like it works great. This is just one of my spare docks I have. I just love the feel of it. It feels great. My Switch feels uh, more safe in a sense because these are much bigger and sturdy, sturdier than the other ones. These feel great. Um, let's go ahead and try to change the colors. I love the LED rings. RGB around the analog sticks here, the joysticks, they're great. And you can have one controller be any color you want and the other one be another color you want. So this could be red, this could be blue, etc. So we're going to have to learn how to change those. I do want to show you guys first of all though, how you take these off and put them on the little bridge connector here. So you just press the button on the back of them just like you would on any other Joy-Cons. There they go. You slide out, They slide off. Now we can attach them to... You can use them detached as well as you can see. You can attach them to this. There we go. Now you got a little controller. This feels really good as well. So if you want your own little controller and you don't want to buy a pro controller, this is a great alternative as well because not only are they Joy-Cons, this becomes a little controller as well like this. So when you're playing on TV mode, this feels really nice. Of course, I did get a pro controller from them as well, so we'll try that out. And that also has the RGBs. I do want to show you guys how to change the color though. So we're going to go ahead and take these off and do that. I do like how, um, the clickiness of the buttons. If you guys can hear that. They remind me of a Pro Controller size button, so that's why I really like these. In the box, they do give you the instruction manual teaching you all about the controller and how to use the LEDs, as well as a charging cable because not only do they charge while your switch is on the dock, you can plug these in individually here with the USB Type-C cord, and you can charge them. So yeah, that's pretty cool. They both have a little USB Type-C cable there. We'll do a little gameplay with it as well in a bit, but let's go ahead and put these back on our console here. And of course, depending on the color you get, um, a different color will show up when you insert them here. I love that it shows that it's white, though. That's pretty cool. I love how they feel. It's great. And I love the LEDs as well. We're going to um, turn the lights off in a bit as well and show you guys what they look like in the dark. Let's go ahead and flip through this a little bit and see how you change them. Um, I, if I remember right from what I learned, is you, you hold down the T button and then you just click it. There we go to like a yellowish green. There's green. Okay, so that was yellow. There's blue. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to keep that. I love blue. That's my favorite color. 
And then on this one, we can do a different color if we want, guys. As you can see, I'm just using this T button here, the one labeled T. You hold down on it um, while you click this. So we can go ahead and do this detached as well. I can feel the vibrations as well, which is great. There's orange. There's yellow. Green. I'm going to do blue and green. I think that looks really cool. So now that we got our colors, you can see there they are around our analog sticks there. That looks fantastic. I always wish that these Joy-Cons would have LEDs around them. That's why these are really cool. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to do the mode where you can make the LEDs breathe, is what they call it. They call it breathing mode. The LED colors will breathe from different colors. So what you do for that is you go ahead and press the T button here on the back. You're going to hold it down, and then you're going to press your analog stick twice. And so now it did a little vibration that indicated to me that it's going to breathe colors. So as you can see, purple, uh, that's a blue. It's gonna, what it's going to do is just breathe between the color that I chose. But what you can, oh, it's also doing purple as well. It is going to do all the colors. So it's going to breathe through all the colors that you want. I think you can change it to one sta stable color as well. But that is really cool. As you can see, guys, it's breathing. <laughs> Different colors is what it looks like. That's really cool. So that's really cool, everybody. While this one is breathing different colors, this one is just my color green that I chose. So we can make this one um, breathe colors as well, obviously. But uh, what we're going to do here is, I think, hold this down and then press it twice again. And what it does is it breathes. Now, or it, what it does is it vibrates after you do it successfully. Now we got rainbow colors, guys. So now it's doing a color of like red, purple, and blue. Look at that. How cool are these guys? That's really sweet. I love how it looks. Um, it's, it's really easy to use as well, and it feels great as well. So that's really cool. We can leave one like that. Um, let's see what we do when we hold down this one, the T button here. This one's now going to vibrate, uh, it's going to breathe different colors as well, I think. Now I changed them to both rainbow colors. That's really cool. Here's an up-close look at that. Now what I'm going to do, oh, now it's going to breathe the rainbow color. See, that's just so cool, the different features. I'm going to go ahead and detach these again. And now it completely turns them off because I went through the whole different phases of it. And a fun fact is these LEDs, they won't, um, when your console is asleep, like if it's powered off, the LEDs will turn off in case you forget to turn them off yourself. There, so you don't have to worry about them using too much battery of the controllers themselves. But yeah. All right, for the rest of this video, I'll probably leave it as my favorite two colors here that um, you have the option to make them. Light blue and green here. I think, they, I think it looks great. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off and show you guys what they look like in the dark. There you go, guys. Isn't that cool? This is great. So great job, NYXI, um, for making this product. It's great. And that was only the first one that they sent me. So we have two other ones back here. This is fantastic. Um, like I said, links will be in the description and where you can buy these for yourself. I'll probably plan to get more in the future from them, more products. So this is pretty, pretty dang cool. I love how it looks with the lights off there. All right, guys. I think this is going to cause me to play in handheld mode a lot more because these controllers just feel so comfortable. I got so used to playing a pro controller. So this is fantastic for going between TV and handheld mode. This is my first time using them for gameplay here, guys. Gotta say, it feels great, like I said. You, I can feel the vibration as well, and Mario Kart Wave 3 just came out today, the day I'm filming this video, December 7th. The vibration definitely feels a little bit different than Nintendo's, 
so you can keep that in mind, but it's nothing too noticeable. And you can actually turn off vibration on your switch if you want to. If you're not even a vibration person who enjoys vibrations. Yeah, this looks great. These controllers feel great, run great. Um, there's no no lag while using them, no latency, no frame drops. So they did a great job here. All right, moving on to the next product, we will uh, take a look at the Joy-Con charger stand, which can be used for these uh, controllers we just looked at, as well as any other Joy-Cons you might have. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this box. Looks like I got damaged during shipping. So it doesn't matter if I damage it anymore. <laughs> um, as you can see on the side, it says, For Nintendo Switch charging stand, compatible with Nintendo Switch, plug and play, easy slide on design. Sounds good to me. You got a little manual there. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But of course, there's a USB that you plug into this to give it power. This is a, not a USB Type-C, so keep that in mind. I'm curious, did a cord come up with, it, with this? Yes, it did. So here's the cord they give you. I'm going to plug it into this and show you guys what it looks like. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Let me make sure I plug it in the right way first. All right, and when you plug it in, it lights up uh, quickly there. It does a little flash of light. I believe, is there a protective layer on this? Yeah, don't forget to peel this off, guys. I'm not sure how many people tell you to do this on their videos, but there's just a little protective covering there to keep the little uh, glass safe on top here, which is great. They have that. What you can do is slide your Joy-Cons on here. Say you used it up for the day and you have a bunch of Joy-Cons like, for your friends to use when they play with you. Slide it on the rails, as you can see. You can go ahead and slide it on. And when it does, when it's charging, it lights up blue. And when it's done charging, guys, which is after a few hours, it'll turn green. So you'll know when your Joy-Con's at 100% full battery when the light above turns green. So that's pretty cool. I definitely wanted one of these from them, so I'm thank you guys for sending these to me. Because I have a bunch of Joy-Cons. See, here's some more of my Joy-Cons here. I have... I have, I think, uh, eight Joy-Cons in total. Maybe even ten now because of these. So you can get as many of these charging stations as you'd like to buy. They hold four Joy-Cons at a time, as you can see. So now I have four Joy-Cons charging on here. That is very cool. Very neat device from NYXI Gaming. Last but not least, we have the enhanced wireless controllers, what they call it here. On the back it says, Working time about 6 hours, charging time about 2 hours, standby time about 25 days. It shows you how to connect this Pro Controller. It's kind of similar to the official Nintendo one. Let's go ahead and take a look. It packaged it very nicely. This is definitely the neatest packaging of the three. Here's what it looks like in the box. Let's go ahead and take it out. Like the rest of them, it has an instruction manual. Which is very good, of course. Alright, let's go ahead. And guys, there are different designs. You can get a plain design, like plain white, plain black, that have the nice RGB rings around them, LED. But what I chose to be a little bit different, since I have the Joy-Cons here like this, my LEDs are going to be in the controller, kind of like outside skin itself. I chose black to kind of go um, different from the white, so I did white and black, kind of opposite. Look at this cool design on here, guys. It feels really nice. It feels like um, it's kind of engraved on here is what it feels like. They call this the Blitz Ice Design. It's kind of like cracking ice all, ar all around the texture of the controller here. And what the cool thing is, is it lights up LED. So we're going to try that out in the dark as well. So we're going to make sure we connect our controller first here. 
Here's the controller, guys, with the LEDs turned on. That looks fantastic for gaming. This is so cool, and you can change it to your favorite colors, of course, just like the Joy-Cons I showed you earlier. So we're going to go ahead and do that by the same way we did it with those Joy-Cons on our Switch, holding down the T button here on the back. As you can see, the back is like this. You can take these little stickers on here off if you want to. I'll go ahead and do that later, most likely. What I do like is that there's a little hint of blue for the pairing button down here, which is really cool. Up here, you got your USB Type-C slot for, so you can charge. Got your trigger buttons up here, ZR, ZL, R, and R. L and R, um, screenshot home button, plus and minus, X, A, B, Y, two analog sticks and your D-pad. Love how it feels, it's very lightweight, so if you like a lightweight controller, this is great. And if you want a pro controller, but you don't want to pay how ex ever expensive the $80 is for Nintendos, this one's cheaper and it's a great alternative. Basically the same size too, uh, just the Nintendo one's a little bit um, heavier. So, let's go ahead and change these colors. You can make them LEDs as breathe, as breathe as well. Yeah, I changed it to green. And when you successfully complete a holding down of the button and clicking it, it'll do a little vibration to let you know. So that's what I felt just now. This is a nice green. Here we got blue, my favorite color. I love that. Darker blue. Oh, that's cool. We got purple. Oh, we got rainbow. I didn't know you could do that. There you guys go. I recommend these products. These are amazing. <laughs> That's a cool uh, orange. All right, and we're back to that color. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with... You can do all blue, which is cool to match with this. Let's go ahead and dim the lights. Wow. So as you can see over here is our Joy-Con charging stand. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's done charging. It turns green. I don't know if you can see that in the dark. We'll show it in a second. Guys, this is literally so bright in the dark on camera here. I just dimmed the brightness on my camera. That is sick. Wow. Look how that looks, guys. There you guys have it. Just wanted to do a quick comparison to an official Nintendo one. This is the Splatoon 3 one. Same exact size. This one's a little bit more lightweight. That's like the only difference. There's what it sounds like when you click the buttons. But as you can see here, the light on the charging stand turns green when the straight kind of is done charging. So we can go and take that one off. Of course, the Pro Controller is great for docked mode. You have to pair it with your switches, which is really easy. To do that, you follow the instructions on the back by either plugging the controller into the switch dock here or you just go to change grip order down below here. Click on change grip order and then hold down this little button on top for two seconds and it'll pair to the switch here. There you guys have it. Thank you to NYXI Gaming for sending me these products. These are amazing. The LEDs and the Joy-Cons here and the Pro Controller really surprised me with how cool they look. It's great for any Nintendo gamer. This controller also works for your PC as well if you wanted to do that. I love the charging stand for my Joy-Cons as well because I didn't have one of those before. So it's great to be able to charge my Joy-Cons that are not attached to my Switch. So thank you so much. Check out their website in the, uh, in the description down below, everybody. This is a great gift for the holidays for any time of year. If you want to buy these for yourself, you can do that as well. The links down below will take you right to their store. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys next time.